Welcome back to another class of how to become system administrator. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. In previous class of this playlist, we discussed about how to manage the active active users properties like whenever we right click on the active active users, it will give us a multiple option like copy, disable account, how to reset the password and number of options are available in the users properties like make it member of move user, add user to the group. I hope you guys are okay with the topics that we completed so far related to the active directory. And now today I'm going to guide you about the basic understanding related to the group policy management. This is one of important topic for every system administrator, right? If you are, if, if you really want to handle the infrastructure, if you want to fulfill the client's requirement, you must need to know about the procedure and different types of uh, group policies which are available in forward 2022, 2019, 2025 as well. Let me move ourselves to the screen but before that if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that gives you 100% live practical based video without to skip any step. So I hope, I hope you guys are able to see my screen. This is Windows 10 operating system and this one is our Windows Server 2022 and we have already installed the Active Active Domain Services. So let me guide you about the component, yes, the important part you need to know about the component of Active Directory services. Not Active Directory, ADDS, okay, ADDS, Group Policy Management. Active Directory, Group Policy Management. So, as for the name suggests, n number of policies are available in our domain controller, but uh, uh, we need to discuss about the component of Active Directory services and after that we will perform the practical part. So group policy, let's take an example. This is our domain machine, right? The domain controller that we established with name of cloud.com, I think. And using cloud.com, we are able to manage n number of client operating system which are connected with the same network environment. It may be Windows 10 computer. It may be Windows 11 based machine, all right? All the machines are connected with same switch. We successfully converted all the computers from work group to the domain. These machines we successfully converted from work group to the domain, all right? So let's try to understand the users that we created may be with name of Telnet, uh, with name of GCP, with name of Alibaba hmm? and maybe with the name of Clark. So these users we created on our active active on premises ADDS machine and with the help of these users we are able to log in our client computer. We can log in our client machine with the help of GCP, Alibaba and all. Our responsibility, our agenda to manage the group policy to control our client operating system. So let's talk about group policy management. So in case of group policy management, we need to know about multiple contents, multiple components are involved in group policy management like I'm going to guide you from very basic. The component of group policy, you need to start from the very basic like what is GPO, this is really important. What is group policy object? Number second, GPO precedence, GPO precedence, okay, and uh, about how to configure group policy, how to configure, I'm talking about the lab, our practical, how to configure GPO. And then number fourth, you also need to know about uh, block inheritance and enforced, right? Block in inheritance and enforced. Number next, apart from the block inheritance and enforced, you also need to know about the work of WMI filter, right? And next, B backup, GPO backup and restore. So this is our agenda. You can say that these all are the content that we need to cover in case of GPO management. This is really important topic for every system administrator or active active engineer. So I'm going to guide you each and every part, like as a, what is GPO, GPO precedence and all the things we are going to discuss in this class. We'll try to complete most of the topic, most of the points that I mentioned. So group policy, we talk about the base of group policy. The group policy is a kind of, uh, uh, service uh, you can say that this is the built-in feature of our active active services whenever we install adds ADDS in our environment 
group policy automatically come into the picture and by using the group policy management we can control and manage the entire client operating system which are available let me give you an one example n number of client computers are available and you already decided you are not going to authorize pc1 to access their uh, uh, control panel icon and you don't want to authorize any of the user to access their control panel features you can block the control panel do you want to apply the same wallpaper to the all machines which are connected with the same domain you can do that map network drive map the printer map the network printer to all the computers our client operating system which are available in the environment so these types of task you can perform with the help of group policy all good and the second important part to apply and configure the group policy management you must must need to know about gpo precedence this is really important the work of gpo precedence as per the name suggest lsd ou lsd and ou local site domain and organizational unit local then site then domain then organizational unit the higher priority the higher priority you can say that organization organizational unit is a high priority and local is a kind of low priority most of the organization most of the clients need to apply the policy on the organizational unit second important part note we can apply policy gpo only on containers not object we cannot apply the policy to the objects we can apply the policy only and only to the container Con uh, sorry containers although we need to discuss about the different types of container and ou we have already discussed we will we'll perform the practical task of o o organizational unit and another containers with the help of gpu i hope you guys are okay with the points related to the gpu precedence and now i'm moving to ourselves to the group policy page of uh, server 2022 and let me show you one practical how it work so guys this is our domain controller that we established with name of uh, cloud.com let me open the page of cloud.com and definitely need to open server manager dashboard this is server manager dashboard go to the tools and on the tools we just need to click on the group policy management open group policy management wizard you can also group policy management wizard with the help of gpmc.msc okay so we just need to open with the help of gpmc.msc or you can also execute the command of uh, sorry you can proceed with manual step and it look like bit slow just wait for a few more minutes open group policy management page on our server 2022 we just need to open 
run and type GPMC, it will redirect you on the page of group policy management. We have another method to open group policy management by using manually step. Go to the server manager dashboard and uh, we just need to click on tools. Under the tools, we just need to click on group policy management. See, this is GPO management. It will redirect you on the page of group policy where we need to configure n number of policies for our client computer. This is the panel of group policy and as we discussed before, we can apply the policy directly to the containers. We are not authorized to apply the policy to any object like user directly. So let me apply one policy, right click on our domain name, the cloud.com is our domain. The policy that I'm going to configure block control panel, okay. So I'm going to apply the policy of group block control panel, right click and add it. It will redirect you on the page of computer configuration and users configuration. Go to the policies of user configuration, administrative template, control panel, and let me apply the policy of prohibit access to control panel and PC settings. Just double click and activate. Once you enable it, right, once you enable it, your users, your active active users are not applicable to access any options related to control panel. They are not, they, 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 this policy will block the access of entire control panel. Going back to the client operating system, multiple users are available in our active directory and we applied the policy to the entire domain. So it means that this policy is applicable for all the active directory users. dsa.msc cloud.com, users, Alibaba, GCP, Tata and Telnet. You can log in your client machine with the help of any Active Directory user. No problem. So I'm going to open with the help of Alibaba. I think we reset the password for the Alibaba user. Telnet. So, Telnet is also a member of domain controller. So, definitely the policy that you applied will not work for, uh, will means will work for Telnet user as well. Means the Telnet user will not applicable to access the control panel as per the policy that we apply, applied from backend of Active Directory. It is in progress. Let me identify the status of our Active Directory. Yes, Telnet and Tata, both the users are available in our domain controller and we are trying to log in. Let me check the status of NIC card. cloud.com client machine we log in through the user of telnet and let me check are we able to access control panel or not because we blocked the access of control panel bit slow guys Okay, so guys, as per the policy that we applied, definitely the users of Active Directory, if you are going to log in any client machine with the help of this, the Active Directory user, definitely they are not able to log in with the help of, uh, they are not able to uh, open control panel. So our client machine is a bit slow, that's why it's taking time. Let me restart and try to check it again. I think we ha don't have enough space in C drive, that's why we are facing slow performance issue. 
no problem but you can check in your case because i'm getting error in our client machine and definitely your policy will be applicable i hope you guys are okay with the topic that we completed topic that we completed today please connect tomorrow and discuss more about it do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care bye bye